comes home, the 1-0, and this one's hit high towards center. Going back on it is Scott. He's drifting all the way back to the wall, leaps, and it's over his head and off the batter's eye. Hannah turns second on his way to third. For a moment, he had the green light. Now he is held up at third base, and he is there with a leadoff triple. The 0-2 from Faust. Right-handed Rocks fires. There's strike three called at the knees. Three in the first, two in the second for the Wildcats. This ball's in the air, right center field. Sandman and Hannah come in. It's Hannah who takes charge on the slide, and he makes the catch. It's Garrett Wolford at the plate, and he puts a charge into one to right field. Draper going back. He's going to see it hit off the wall. Wolford on his way to second base, and the Patriots have cut the lead. It's 5-2 to two in the bottom of the fourth. 2-2 pitch in the air, well hit towards center field. Derek Scott on his horse, turns and looks, and it hits off the base of the wall. One run will score, two runs will score, and the Patriots have turned the game around. Here's the stretch in the 0-1, squares to Bunn, it's to the right side of the mound, Stone has it, throws to second, they get the runner there, over to first, scooped out and safe. Oh, two close plays at the bag at first, and Pearson just beat it out as well. 3-2 pitch, runners go, line drive, left field, base hit. Granberg's going to come in and score now. The ball gets past Marcus and left and all the way to the wall. Deuce will score. Millard turns second on his way to third. The throw will be cut off. Millard is in there with a head first dive. It's career hit number 100, RBI number 50, and the Patriots lead 9-5. Right on right, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted, back of first. Listy there along with Skidmore. It's Listy who puts it away. This one belongs to DBU, a 10-6 victory. And Seth Elledge has tied Chris Haney for the most saves all time in DBU baseball's Division I history. It's career save number 25 for Elledge.